following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Pro Wrestling Television Championship. Oh yeah, it's about to go down and we are about to see a debuting athlete going up against Jaden Shadow for the PWR Television Championship. And I wonder who it's going to be here. This is gonna be a wild one. Jaden Shadow for multiple weeks have been defending that championship on PWR Rivals. And now it looks like KR Frost has made his way to PWR. And this is an unknown wrestler here. We are going to see if he has what it takes to take the championship away from Jaden Shadow. I mean, Jaden Shadow for this past month has been showing the world that he is truly the very best television champion that we've had here in PWR. I mean, in, in a while here. And there have been some notable television champions here in PWR. I mean, the, the current world champion, Stephen Hill. We can't never forget about Patrick Rage. Even Spike has held the championship before as well. I mean, it, it's, it is definitely a, a prestigious championship that holds a lot of weight here in PWR. But we have KR Frost here in PWR, and we are going to see if he has what it takes to defeat the reigning and defending PWR television champion Jaden Shadow. Once again, this man has been trash talking every single week. We got to be prepared to see what's going to happen here between these two men. It's going to be a wild one. And Jaden Shadow making his way down to the ring here with that PWR television championship over his shoulder. And uh, yeah, he definitely uh, turned some heads in uh, on social media. Uh, definitely one of the... Uh, I guess heat max <laughs> here in PWR and not just in PWR but in pro wrestling in general but Jaden Shadow is going to have definitely have to step it up here um, he's not going to have one of the matchups or not even per se to say it's an easy matchup that he had on rivals but this is going to be stepped up a bunch because this is a pay-per-view event here on PWR Kings of Coliseum and that's the championship on the line the television title Let's get to the introductions. Introducing the challenger from New Jersey, weighing in at 238 pounds, K.R. Frost. E.K.R. Frost, W.R. debut. And introducing the champion from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 236 pounds. He is the Pro Wrestling Television Champion, Jaden Nowhere. And Jaden Shadow, he's ready to defend that champion. We'll see if he's able to successfully do it here tonight. And fans are on their feet. They are going nuts right now. The championship is on the line. Jaden Shadow passing it over to the referee. And this might be the last time Jaden Shadow holds on to the television championship. We are going to find out here. Referee holding up that beautiful championship redesigned by Catchomania. Both men ready to go. And referee calls for the bell. Let's get it. Both men meeting in the middle of the ring. Kick right to the ribs there. And now what Jaden Shadow tried to go for something. Frost with the reversal. And dropping the back of his head right onto the mat. Now look at this, Frost picks him up, Fisherman, Buster, there, damn. Trying to take out Jaden Shadow, and look at this, just a, assaulting the champion right now. Big forearm shot, another forearm shot, trying to take out Jaden Shadow here. Ooh, now look at this, punches right to the head and dropping him face first. And now Jaden getting back to his feet, big elbow right to the top of the head. And now he tries to go for a big kick right to the jaw. And look at Jaden Shadow, just as arrogant as ever, off the ropes. Off the ropes again, turns around in the people's own soul. Big move there by Shadow. And now looking like he wants to work on the arm of Frost here, but Frost back to his feet, overhand right. Collar and elbow, what is he gonna do here? Double underhooks are in. Dumps him over with the double underhook suplex. And now, wait a minute, look at this. German suplex there by Frost. 
And now what is he gonna do here? Oh, wait, good reverse there by Jaden. And now Shadow Springboard. Oh, so right on the spine. And KR is in trouble. Hook right to the body. Oh, goodness. Wait a minute, look at this. Big suplex as well. Going for the pin. Referee, where you at? Come on now, go for the count. Two, and just a two count. And Jaden Shadow cannot believe it. And now picking up his opponent here. Tries to go for a kick, the reversal. Collar and elbow. Damn, just threw him over. Almost like a modified headlock judo throw. And wait a minute, look at this. Picks up and dumps him down with a driver. Incredible move there, going for the pin. Referee for the count two. And just the two count, Jaden Shadow able to kick out. And this is a crazy back and forth between these two men. And wait a minute, wait, what's going on? What's going on, Jaden Shadow leaving the match? What the hell is this? Are you serious? Wow, Jaden Shadow does not like a challenge and he's leaving the match. Wow. And up next, we have women's action here in PWR. See this man here win four consecutive matches before he even is worried about him potentially challenging or re-challenging for the television championship. And we are about to see it go down week number one. I don't know, man. It's going to be a tough battle here. Yuki Tanaka going to be going up against K.R. Frost. Man, it is about to go down. It is about to go down here, man. I mean, this last, this past weekend at the pay-per-view, Kings of Coliseum, I mean, he walked out. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. I mean, for weeks and weeks, Jaden Shadow was defending the PWR Television Championship in the main event and i mean getting those wins defending that championship bringing back prestige quote unquote prestige back to the television championship and man, i mean you got to give him credit he was doing that but then he walked out got counted out on his match against uh frost so it's very interesting to see if frost can uh, win this challenge and potentially get another championship opportunity against Jaden Shadow. He's going up against Yuki Tanaka, which he is a young boy out there. He is a young boy, but nonetheless, I mean, he can get a win. It has happened here in PWR. And now look at this, Yuki Tanaka picking up Frost here and backbreaker. Picking him back up again and another backbreaker. Yes, pulled that one off. And double foot stomps right to the gut. And now picking up his opponent, big forearm shot, backed him into the ropes here. And now what is Frost going to do? Picks him up, dumps him over the rope. And now just putting the boots to him. And now looking like he wants to work the arm, slow down his opponent here. And leg and arm bar, are we going to see a submission here? Are we going to see a submission? And no, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And able to get out of that predicament there, but... Collar and elbow, what's going to happen here? Fireman's carry. Wait a minute, what is he going to do? Dumps him across the top rope again. And now, what's this? The power game in full effect. A uh, power bomb just drilled him right into the mat here. And Jaden Shadow is definitely paying close attention to this matchup here because he has a potential challenger in Frost. And Ooh, farm shot, another farm shot, and now just beating the hell out of his opponent. Ooh, punches right to the side of the head, just damn putting in work. And now what's this gut wrench into a suplex there? And now, what is Frost going to do? Just big move after big move here. He is going in. Ooh, elbow right to the gut. Ooh, another elbow to the gut. And now, oof, overhand, damn. Teeing off, kick right to the knee there. Oh, and a good reversal. Phantom punch. <laughs> that definitely was a phantom punch. And now what is this? Big forearm shot, good reversal. Oh, and a short arm clothesline. Now going for the pin. That looks like it's a rope break. I'm just going to put it out there. Two, oh, just a one count. And Frost able to kick out. Yuki Tanaka still in the driver's seat. 
And what does he plan on doing here? Dragging his opponent. And what is he going to do? Looks like it's going to be, uh, what's this? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Spinning his opponent around. That's what we're doing. We're going way back here. <laughs> Spun him out. And now what is he going to do? I don't know what he was trying for, but it definitely reversal happened. And now look at this, another gut wrench. And back in the driver's seat here. And now calling for Yuki Tanaka to get to his feet. What is he going to do here? Damn! Burning Lariat. Shoots the half, hooks the leg. Referee for the count. Two, three. K.R. Frost able to walk away with a victory here. A convincing victory with that burning Lariat. Just taking the head off of Yuki Tanaka. That short on clothesline definitely did his thing uh, right there. But man, that is no joke. And trying to spin his opponent around. Eh, I don't know so much about that one. But damn, right there. Right there. That burning Larry just took his head smooth off. And there you have it. Lights out. KR Frost. Hmm able to get week number one down three more to go for kr frost will he be able to get that championship opportunity we will see and boy do we have a match set for the opening contest hector flores is be going up against the man who has to prove his worthiness to the television champion in order to get his rematch at the television championship, K.R. Frost making New his way. Jersey, weighing in at 238 pounds, K.R. Frost. And K.R. Frost has to get four consecutive wins in order to obtain another championship opportunity at Jaden Shadow for the PWR television championship. And we are going to see if he can make that happen. He won his match last week. Now this week, he has to win this one in order to get that championship opportunity. Now, Jaden Shadow, I mean, love him or hate him, he has successfully defended, quotation marks, the, the television championship. Now, I mean, within the four weeks leading up to this past pay-per-view, uh, Kings of Coliseum, he defended them. You know, main event, on rivals, pinned his opponents. Then at the pay-per-view against Frost, he walked out. I felt like he thought the match was slipping through his fingers, and he had to, I mean, get that count out. He lost the match, but he kept the television championship. And right now, Frost going at it with, oh my goodness. Going at it with his opponent here, oh, whipped his arm. And Hector Flores trying to stay in this matchup. Now, what's he gonna do? Kick right to the small of the back and cross filling that one, but getting back to his feet. Ooh, the speed game is point in a German suplex. Just flipped him. And now, Frost dragging his opponent. Gotta think, what is he gonna do here? And now, turns him around. Is he, oh, wow, he's going for the pin off a of German? That's what we're doing here? Wow. KR Frost with a German suplex victory taking out his opponent here tonight damn okay i see what it is neck breaker there big move by flores trying to go for the pin attempt there wasn't able to get the job done frost still staying in that one and damn just that release german suplex just finished him off damn he just ended there sheesh he put in work quickly to get him over and done with and got the three count victory, K.R. Frost, showing he's on a different level. K.R. Frost. And Frost with the victory, two weeks down, two, uh, two victories, two more to go. Ooh, Jaden Shadow better be on point. This might be his next number one contender. in the opening contest once again we have kr frost going up against the paragon jay pierce and uh frost has another week 
where he has to show he deserves a championship and his opportunity. From New Jersey, weighing in at 238 pounds, K.R. Frost. And K.R. Frost making his way to the ring. He has to win this match here the third week. This is the third week he has to win this match in order to get a championship opportunity against the PWR television champion, Jaden Shadow. Yeah, it's about to go down. It's definitely about to go down. He needs to be on point for this match up here. He wins this, he has one more week. One more week to make it happen. We're going to see if that can go down here tonight against the Paragon J. Here. Oh, yeah, it's about to get cooking here. Let's get it. And now collar and elbow by Frost. And what is he going to do here? Oh, oh, well, not elbows, but punches right to the gut by the Paragon of Virtue. I don't know why we call him that. But look, more punches right to the gut. Frost trying to go for that move again. Ooh, back elbow. Now collar and elbow again. Got him. Rock down face first, just drilled, and that's a big move to start this match off with. And now KR Frost getting worked over by the Paragon. And now what is he gonna do here? Jumps over. Wow, such disrespect. Such disrespect. Ooh, kick right to the back. And Frost is all out of it right now. It looks like he just getting worked on. Ooh, elbow right to the gut. Okay, showing some life there. Good to see. <laughs> oh, clothesline. Damn. Angry man clothesline right there. Channeling his inner tags. And look at those mounted punches right to the forehead. And now trying to pick up his opponent. What is he going to do? Fisherman. Buster. Big move there. High impact moves. And now Frost in the driver's seat. Punch to the ribs. Oh, those hooks. And now German suplex. Damn, just flipped him inside out. Big knee right to the side of the head. And he is getting worked on. Definitely getting worked on here. And trying to do everything he can against his opponent. Jawbreaker, good reversal there. And now what is he going to do? Drops him down again. Definitely did it. Another big move there. Going to the wishing well again. Pulling off a move we've seen already in this matchup. But hey, if it works, why not keep doing it? Now, what is he going to do here? Dragging his opponent. And uh, you got to think that Jaden Shadow is definitely watching this. Wait a minute. we got a pen attempt going on. Two. Ooh, almost a three. Seriously? Wow. Wow. Almost a three count. That's that's what we're doing. Ooh, over him. And you got to think Jaden Shadow is loving this right now. Seeing Frost getting worked over by the Paragon. Ooh, kick right to the leg. Go reversal. And uh, Jaden Shadow does not want to. Ooh, T ball suplex. And uh, Jaden Shadow does not want to defend that television championship against Frost. Ooh, forearm shot right to the face. Good reversal. But speaking about reversals, oh damn. Oh my God, high ankle suplex. That is it. He is dead in the water. Damn, KR Frost just dropped him on his head. Ooh, high angle backdrop suplex. Ooh, boy. He just did him filthy with that one out of nowhere. Just goozled him and brought him over, dumped him on his head, called it a day. Damn. Ooh, talk about out of nowhere. Jesus, that right there. That did it. That completely did it right there. That just folded him like an omelet. KR Frost. And KR Frost with another victory. One week to go. And he gets his championship opportunity. Jaden Shadow better be on point. Damn. Wait a minute, look what we got here. It's a fight between the challenger and the champion, Jaden Shadow and KR Frost fighting backstage. And you know both of these men want that television championship and a German suplex on the concrete backstage. Damn.
Hello everyone, this is Dre41 and welcome to PWR High Stakes Pay-Per-View Event and we have a jam-packed pay-per-view for you this evening and we are live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Man, it's going to be a crazy night. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Pro Wrestling Television Championship. And we are starting off tonight with a bang. The television title is on the line. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all already know what time it is. Yes, this man, K.R. Frost, wants the championship away from Jaden Shadow. And we are going to see tonight if that happens. He is going to have to step it up 110% because Jaden Shadow is not giving up that television championship easily at all. He is going to go all out, so K.R. Frost is going to have to bring everything he can. For the last four weeks, Jada Shadow put up a challenge for K.R. Frost to win match after match after match. And then Jada Shadow decided to attack K.R. Frost this past week on PWR Rivals. So now it's a situation where Frost also wants revenge as well we're gonna see these two men battle it out opening contest yeah we're starting off we're starting off the pay-per-view event high stakes with a bang yeah it's about to go down and kr frost in the ring waiting for his opponent this man here Jaden shadow returning to pwr this season and making an impact wanting to hold gold and that's exactly what this man has been doing and tonight he wants to keep that tradition going Jaden shadow coming back to pwr uh challenging for the junior heavyweight championship was a bit overweight so it was a one-on-one -on -one contest and byron x12 bruiser great able to walk away with the victory but that didn't stop Jaden shadow from being determined to win gold here in pwr he then challenged the television champion the outcast and was able to defeat him for the pwr television championship and now here you have the heel himself, Jaden Shadow, holding up the gold here. And the fans are just booing this man. They do not like this man one bit. But Jaden Shadow holding the gold. And when you hold a championship here, you are definitely one of the best. And we are going to start this championship match off. And that is WR Television Championship redesigned by Catcho Mania. Introducing the challenger from New Jersey, weighing in at 238 pounds, K.R. Frost. K.R. Frost better be prepared. He needs to be 100% for this match. From Sacramento, California, weighing in at 236 pounds, he is the Pro Wrestling Television Champion. Jaden, and Jaden Shadow prepared to keep that championship. We'll see if he's able to hear tonight. It is about to go down. Is he handing off that championship for the last time? Oh, it might go down. It might just go down. We might see a championship uh, change here tonight. Or we might see the television championship stay with Jaden Shadow. But we are about to find out. Both men are prepared to go. They are ready. Referee calls for the bell. Let's get it. Oh, already a right hand by Frost. And now what's this? Overhead German suplex just flipped him inside out. And now picking up his opponent. What is he going to do here? Got him doubled under hooked in. And a butterfly suplex. Big moves there. And it looks like Jaden Shadow needs to step it up a bit right now. Frost is... Well in the driver's putting the boots to the champion. Ooh, big hook to the body. Kick to the gut. What is he going to do here? Got him hooked. And when the fisherman driver just drove him right into the mat there and not wasting any time picking him back up. And now going for another, what is it? Butterfly suplex just throwing his opponent. And Frost 
wants to get that revenge. He wants that championship, but Jaden Shadow does not want to see that happen. Big knee right to the face. Shadow up top, high risk maneuver on its way. What is he gonna do? Jumps over Frost, tries to go for a leg drop there. Maybe a Famouser wasn't able to pull that one off and now Frost trying to taunt his opponent and that definitely, definitely didn't go in his favor and now just getting mutilated in the corner by the champion. Jade and Shadow holding the gold for uh, two months here in PWR. Oh, quick belly to belly. Wait a minute, what's this here? Oh, he wants to be the most electrifying man here, huh? Is that the case? Wait a minute. Moonsault, people's moonsault there by the heel of PWR. And now Jade and Shadow soaking in the booze from the PWR fans here. And once again, we are live in Las Vegas High Stakes. A bunch of championships on the line here. Back suplex, kip up, and a leg drop combination moves there by the television champion. Going for the pin, referee for the count. Just a one count. Frost able to kick out there. And you gotta think that these fans in Las Vegas wants to see a championship change here tonight. They are tired of the heel, Jaden Shadow, but I don't know. I mean, he has so much momentum going into this matchup, even walking out on their last match a month ago at Kings of Coliseum. Look at this already. Oh, right hand by Frost. And now, wait a minute, full Nelson slam. Big move there. And you gotta think he wants to follow that up with another big move, and that's exactly what he's gonna do. Looks like it's gonna be a running power slam. Going for the pin, referee for the count one. Just a one count. Just a one count, and Jaden is still well in this matchup. And now look at this, Fireman's Carry. What is this gonna turn into? Ooh, into a slam there. Going for another pin attempt, referee for the count, and oh, almost a three count there. Almost a three count. I thought it was over right there, but the heel able to stay in this match. Irish whip into the corner. Frost trying to go for something there. Jaden wanted no parts of that one. And now combination moves. Big spy on the pine. And now what is Frost going to do here? Looks like he wants to work on the arm of the champion. And also taunting the champion as well. Want to stay in the head of the champion. Take him out of his game here. Tries to go for a right hand. Catches a boot instead. And now got him backed up against the ropes. What is the champion going to do here? Big knee right to the head. Dropping Frost. But Frost still has life in him. Able to get the champ off him. Back and forth. Kicks to the head. And now Jaden Shadow. Looking like he wants to take out the challenger here. And now he's going to work on the arm of the challenger. And now wait a minute. Jaden picks him up. What is he going to do here? Dumps him down. The death blow shoots the half and hooks the leg. Mm, rope break, I knew it. I knew it. The, the feet, that foot was a little bit too close to the ropes. And that could have been it right there, to be completely honest. Oh, women tries to go for the Superman punch, didn't get it off. Kick right to the ribs, hook to the body, uppercut elbow. Who tries to go for a boot? No go on that one, caught a lariat instead. And now Jaden is in some trouble. Burning Lariat just took his head, smooth off, shoots the half, hooks the leg, referee for the count to, oh my goodness, almost a three count, but Jaden able to kick out. And Frost has to stay on point. He cannot get frustrated here. He does that, he loses. Combinations by the champion. Big European uppercut. And now Fireman's carry. What is he going to do here? Carrying him over to the ropes and a snake eyes. And now boots right to the midsection, stomping the hell out of his opponent here. And another boot right to the face of face wash. And hopefully he got some padding in that mask. And wait a minute, going for the penitent referee for the count two. And just a two count. Just a two count. Frost able to kick out. And Jaden, once again, not wasting any time, still going after his opponent. And you know for damn sure he wants to take him out. And now what is, what is Jaden Shadow going to do here? Taking some time, and that probably didn't help him. Kitchen sink right to the gut. 
And now Frost calling for Jaden Shadow to get to his feet. What is he going to do here? Looks like another burning lariat trying to take his opponent head off. Going for referee in position. Going for the count. Two and three. K.R. Frost is the new PWR television champion. And man, that was a crazy opening contest here at PWR High Stakes. Look at that power slam. Not able to even get a one count barely. Hit him with that big driver there. And then look at this, that death blow. Trying to take him out right there, but it was a rope break. Two burning lariats. Able to put away the former television champion. And already we have a new champion here in P. WRKR Frost, the new television champion. And wait a minute, I, these replays, you just gotta love them. You gotta love them. <laughs> KR Frost, the new television champion here in PWR. And already in the ring, we have the Paragon Jay Pierce waiting for his opponent in the opening contest, the PWR television champion, making his return to PWR rivals. K. R. Frost. And his opponent from New Jersey, weighing in at 238 pounds, the pro wrestling television champion, K. R. Frost. And K. R. Frost holding that gold, and you know that he wants to keep that championship right where it is. Tonight is going to be a non title matchup against the Paragon J. Uh, Pierce, but you already know that, uh, yeah, Jaden Shadow wants that championship back, and uh, K.R. Frost is definitely going to have to watch his back here tonight against uh, not only, I mean, you know, the Paragon J. Pierce, but also Jaden Shadow, and uh, yeah, this is going to be quite a test for Frost here tonight, showing the world the uh, what the new television champion brings to P-Dub. And definitely in this contest here, he will have a challenge against Jay Pierce. And I'm pretty sure KR Frost, well rested, ready to go here tonight. We are going to see what he brings to the table in this matchup here. It's going to go down. It's definitely going to go down here. The fans are on their feet. They are ready to see this opening contest take place. Pierce is ready. Frost is ready. And the referee letting him know, calling for the bell. Let's get it. And collar and elbow tie up in the center of the ring. Looks like a vertical suplex by Frost. And Frost already pumped up here tonight. Ooh, caught an elbow right to the jaw. And already combination by Pierce, but good reversal there by Frost. Frost working, working him over. Big overhead German suplex just flipping the Paragon right onto his face. And Frost not letting up, picking him up, and dumping him down with a power bomb. Big move there by Frost, and already he is letting the crowd here tonight know that it's over for Pierce. But wait a minute, Pierce might have something different in mind. Dropping him face first. Picking up Frost, what is he going to do here? Oh, chop right to the formation moves. Big forearm shot. Overhands. Damn, Pierce is trying to tee off against Frost right now. Wait a minute, what's this? Irish whip over the ropes, holding on here. Ooh, punch right to the head. And now what's this? Oh, he's gonna, oh my God, those overhands right to the, right to the sternum of Pierce. And he is filling those right now by the television champion, just teeing off on him. And down goes Pierce to ringside and Frost not far behind him. The one thing you can't give Frost credit for is he is not wasting any time going right after his opponent. Of course, taunting him as I say that, but regardless. And now picking up his opponent here. What is his plan? Another Irish whip right to the floor. You know that he bumped a little bit into the barricade there. And Frost letting the ref do his count here. I don't know if he's going to necessarily let him get counted out here. That would be surprising, but hey, a win is a win. 
to be completely honest. And now, wait a minute, the ref trying to stop Frost from getting outside the ring and allowing Pierce to get back in. Okay, I mean, that's running it fairly. And now, what does this look like? Another, damn, just threw him with that suplex. And wait a minute, what the hell is this? What is this? What's going on here? Um, I'm confused about what the hell was that? Yeah, I'm I'm very confused on what the hell that was, but nonetheless, oh wait a minute, Pierce! Oh my goodness, Pierce! Trying to get rid, trying to get rid of Frost, trying to make him submit here. Will he be able to make him submit here? Will this happen? And I don't understand what just happened here. We just heard uh, Black Excellence music. I'm I'm very confused, very confused on what that just was. But uh, Frost, uh, I guess, was ready for it. Oh, and over the ropes and down ringside area. And uh, Frost is, just got taken out of his game here. And now the Paragon is in the ring waiting for Frost to get to his feet and not going to wait. He's going to go out there and check on him. And now calling for him to get to his feet. What the hell is he planning on doing here? Wait a minute. What's this? Single arm DDT on the outside. And now flipped it into that Fujiwara armbar. And he has to realize that a submission is not going to take place on the outside. He's going to have to get him back into the ring. And now the Paragon back into the ring here. And, uh, wow, Frost uh, making a statement showing that he's not hurt at all. Okay, strange enough, but let's run with it. And now Frost getting back into the ring, meeting Pierce. Pierce with the advantage. Iris whip it to the corner. And now what is Pierce going to do here? Drops Frost right into the turnbuckle. Damn, and now Pierce is just in the driver's seat right now. He is directly in the driver's seat now, going for the penitent referee for the count. Just a one count. And Frost able to get out of that predicament. And now back up, trying to get back to his feet here. Pierce with the right hand, go behind. Big elbow, good reversal there by Frost. Back elbow, overhand chop. Right, ooh, goodness, DDT. And going for the penitent referee for the count. One. Two, and just a two count, Frost able to kick out in that Paragon. Definitely frustrated about what's going on in this matchup. Kick right to the side of the head, good reversal. Ooh. And now Frost, what is he going to do here? Going for the arm bar. Going for the arm bar and the leg bar as well. Trying to go for a submission attempt here. And will the Paragon tap out here with that hold? He is locked in, but no. Pierce able to get out of that one. Frost is going to have to go to the drawing board again for that. Ooh, hook right to the body. Picks him up. And what's this? Damn, just dumps him down. And that has to be it there. Referee for the count. Two, three. And KR Frost with the victory here tonight. And you got to think, why the hell did we hear Black Excellence music in the middle of this matchup here? I'm very very confused by that one look at that ddt trying to go for the win that didn't happen there and then frost dumping him down with that innovative move getting the three count and damn the tv champion had a tough matchup here but was able to get the victory big up to frost and frost with that victory you know that he is not oh wait a minute look what we have here the newly signed member of PWR roster and also new member of Black Excellence, Derek Wolf on the stage. And we heard his music with Black Excellence music during the match. And now it looks like Frost wants to get him some of Derek Frost and the referee trying to stop this. And Derek Wolf catching that right hand from Frost. And now it's a back and forth between these two men. They are throwing bombs back and forth between each other and this rivalry is getting very, very heated. And now, look at that boot right across the throat of the man who wants to regain the television championship. And look what we have here, K.R. Frost. And he is going to make his way to ringside here. And now look at this. Jaden Shadow going for a pin. Referee's not even a one. 
Not even a one count, but wait a minute, picks him up and dumps him down with a power bomb, roll through, big knee right to the jaw. And look at Jada saying, this is the man who wants the television title, not on my watch. And now getting back to his feet, collar and elbow. Wait a minute, Frost staying here. Oh my goodness, now he's going to watch these two men beat the hell out of each other and potentially make his uh, title defense at PWR Danger Zone make it a little bit easy for him possibly. I mean, hell, it might even be a three-way battle for that television championship. And now getting back to his feet here, Irish whip into the corner. And now what's gonna happen here? Throws him right into the corner, good reversal. Back and forth between these two men. You know they want that title. And now throws him face first right into the turnbuckle there. And their dance is right in that corner. Irish whip far side of the ring, full head of steam. Big Superman punch. Oh no, ducks the punch there, and a spear! Speared him right out of his boot, going for the pin. Referee for the count, one, two, three. Oh, I thought it was going to be a three, but Derek Wolf able to kick out, and Jada Shadow arguing with the referee. Fans are yelling, fight forever. Picks him up, and it's going to be a sit-out face buster. And that has to be it, but no. He's calling for him to get back to his feet and a spear again. Going for the pin, ref for the count. One, two, and Jaden Shadow with the victory here tonight. And he is cementing his championship opportunity against Frost here tonight. Oh man, this has been a crazy, crazy opening contest here on Rivals, look at that spear out of nowhere, just took him out, referee for the three, and that's it, and no, not just yet, but damn, dumped him face down, and then another spear, that's the spear that took him out, and Frost had the best seat in the house to view it, and once again, Jade and Shadow showing, oh, wait a minute, look at this, KR Frost, attacking both men and it looks like he wants smoke with both of them he's looking like he wants to defend his title against both of these men and take them both out kr frost cleaning house here tonight on rivals and up next we have the television coming to the ring and he stated that he has some things to say about this past weekend being attacked by the returning Aiden Davis. And uh, very, very interesting. I mean, it, it's very intriguing to see that Aiden did. And speaking of Aiden Davis, look what we got here. Aiden Davis right behind the champion and taking him down here. And Aiden Davis is attacking the television champion once again from behind. But Frost is trying to fight back here, but Aiden Davis throwing him down to the ground. And now the former world champion, former tag team champion, attacking the television champion here tonight. Throwing those bombs at Frost here. And Frost fighting back, go behind, German suplex. And man, oh man, they got a date with Destiny. You gotta think that uh, Aiden Davis wants that television championship and he wants to take it away from Frost. And what plays better than Super Battle 86? And damn, Frost putting hands on Davis right now. Oh, right hand. Go behind here. What is he going to do? Oh, my God. Half Nelson suplex onto Davis. And Frost getting some revenge from this past week and throwing some bombs at Davis. Oh, those hooks to the body. Oh, and those knees right to the gut here. And these two men are going to battle for that television title. And our first championship matchup is about to begin. The PWR television title is on the line. Introducing the challenger from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, playing in at 
And Aiden Davis making his return to PWR last month at Danger Zone attacking KR Frost after his championship victory. And uh, Aiden Davis making it very clear that he wants to walk away the gold here tonight at Super Battle 86. And as far as PWR goes in Super Battle, this is the fifth Super Battle in PWR and wait a minute what is going on here what is going on here and wait a minute Jaden Shadow making his way to the ring but this looks like a completely different Jaden Shadow that we have seen here in PWR this looks like a completely different man and man oh man it might go down here tonight Jaden wants that PWR television championship back. And to do that, he has to take out whether it's Aiden Davis or KR Frost. One of the one way or another, Jaden Shadow wants that championship back. And man, this is a completely different Jaden. I mean, we've never seen this, this Jaden Shadow before. I'm very intrigued to see what his plans are here tonight going in this matchup for the PWR Television Championship, man, oh man, it is going to be a wild one here tonight. And the fans here with their phones out lighting up the arena. And it's kind of funny how it's dark, but it's during the daytime. It's fine. We're not going to worry about it. It's, it, it's okay. We're not going to trip about it. But nonetheless, Super Battle 86 has already commenced. If you just joined us, you missed out on an incredible four-way elimination women's match where Victoria was able to get the victory and possibly another championship opportunity next season on PWR. But into this matchup here, Jaden Shadow already in the ring. And man, oh man, all three of these men are going to tee off against one another to show exactly what they bring to the table here. And Jaden Shadow definitely is going to have to step it up here if he plans on getting back that PWR television championship. And fans are on their feet. They are ready to see the champion make his way to the ring. And it is about to go down the PWR television champion making his way to the and ring. Introducing the champion from New Jersey, weighing in at 238 pounds. He is the pro wrestling television champion, K.R. Frost. And K.R. Frost making his way to the ring, holding that coveted. PWR Television Championship. He wants to keep that title close to him. And we are going to see if he has what it takes to walk away from this matchup with that title still in hand. And man, this is going to be a test. It is definitely going to be a test. And I'm sure that Frost is going to do everything in his power to keep that championship right where it is. And uh, yeah, like I said, this matchup here, a triple threat match. First pin will be the new or will just be the PWR television champion, regardless of who it is. So all three men are going to have to step it up here. The I think the biggest goal, staying in the ring, controlling who gets the pin. That's the biggest thing. If you're outside the ring, you will not win this matchup. You have to stay in the ring. That is the biggest thing. And that's what they're battling for, that television championship redesigned by Catchomania. And the title is on the line. The referee holding it up high here tonight at Super Battle. Aiden is ready. Jaden is ready. KR Frost is ready. The referee calls for the bell. Let's get it. 
and they collar and elbow already. And Aiden Davis dropping him down. Ooh, fist drop right across the face of the former television champion. And Aiden Davis, man, he's no stranger to gold. Former tag team champion, former world champion. This man knows what it is to be at the top of his game. And damn, just got whipped down. And now going for a pin. And look at Jaden stopping that pin. And once again, threat. First pin is the winner of the matchup here. And now it looks like Jaden Shadow might begin a double team. But wait a minute. Aiden Davis with that right hand. And you got to think that Thanos punch might come into play here tonight. And Aiden Davis has no problem throwing that right hand. And now Frost picks him up and dumps him across the top rope again. Such disrespect. Ooh, right hand hook to the body. And now, ooh, punch right to the gut. And Frost putting hands on Jaden Shadow here. And now, got him goozled here against the ropes. And now Frost once again. <laughs> now he's just throwing Jaden on the top rope. And that just seems to be the plan of Frost. Throw everybody on the top rope, basically. Irish whip right into the corner. Now what is Frost going to do? Fireman's carry. What's the plan here? Drops him across the top turnbuckle. And now Aiden Davis trying to taunt, and that might be a mistake. Frost going right after him. And now picks him up here. What is he going to do? Looks like he's going to drop him down with a driver. And damn it, that might have taken out Aiden Davis here. Going for the pen. Referee for the count. And three. K.R. Frost with a successful title defense here at Super Battle 86, able to take out Aiden Davis. Wow, such a quick victory here by K.R. Frost showing the world that he wants to be the PWR television champion, winning his matchup here at Super Battle 86, part five. It, it happens. And KR Frost with the victory here tonight. Wow. Big win for KR Frost.